In today's video, I'm gonna be traveling all the way to the United States. And then I'm traveling all the way back to the United Kingdom. I'm gonna buy Pokemon cards from each area and see which region has the best Pokemon card pools. So go ahead and comment down below before the video starts. Let me know if you guys are on Team England or Team USA. Let's go ahead and get the video started. Yo guys, we are here. We landed and now we're going to Walmart. The first place we're gonna look for Pokemon cards. Let's see what they got inside. All right, let's see what they got, guys. They got a lot of stuff out right now. This is my first time in the States again in a year, so they've got quite a bit of stuff, honestly. I kinda like some singles. These are always pretty trash. 24 cards, one foil. I, I actually hate these things. Uh, I might just get uh, Darkness of Blaze. Actually, I don't have this ETV, so I'm not buy this Darkness of Blaze ETV. I think we'll get one of those. Also, guys, Halloween Spirit. I got this Pikachu. They've also got some of these uh, celebrations boxes here. It's been a while since I've been to America. I've not even seen these boxes in the UK, so I don't even. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy any, but these are so pretty lit. All right, we're back here at the toy section. And that's what they got. A little bit of stuff back here too. Just a few things, some singles with uh, some of my cards and some tokens. And they got these weird like double packs. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't, I don't even know what this is. And they got tons. Oh, wait a minute. They've got uh, three Fusion Strike Elite Trainer boxes. I don't have this one either. All right, I think we'll get two ETBs and I think that's what we're gonna call it for this, for the American Walmart experience. Yo guys, what is up? We are finally back in England now and we're gonna go find some Pokemon cards and we're gonna compare these Pokemon cards. I'm not really sure where to buy them at, it's hard because you can't just go to Walmart, uh, but we'll see if we can find some store to sell cards. All right, let's go. All right guys, so I ended up finding this store in Kingsland called Game and this place was pretty cool. They actually sell a lot of Pokemon merchandise and I actually bought a few other things in here, but what I settled for for this video, I specifically bought myself the Shining Fates trainer box, as well as a Bulbasaur and Charmander Pokemon Go box, which you can see in the video right now. Um, this, this store was just incredible, and I think they had a better selection than Walmart, actually, um, and I'm excited to go back to this store in the future for even more Pokemon cards. Yo guys, what is up? We are back in the studio and we are ready to open up these cards both from America and also from the United Kingdom. I have my American cards here and ready to go. And I also have all of the English cards we got from the English store. So let's just jump right into it then. All right, so starting out, I want to go ahead and open up the cards that I got from the British store, um, which is the Pokemon Go packs, as well as the Shining Fates ETV. Um, I'll save the Pokemon Go packs for last because I do uh, want to open that Bulbasaur last just because Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon and I'd love to get um, a Venus. I have not got a Radiant Venusaur yet. I've got Radiant Charizard and Blastoise. And that's what we're looking for. But here we go. We have the Shining Fates box. Um, so let's just bust this bad boy open. Y'all have seen probably a million openings of Shining Fates. So there's probably no real reason to show you exactly what's even inside the box. But you know what? I will do it anyways. Here we go. In the box, we've got the booklet. We've got the good old sleeves. The code card for anybody that wants it. It's upside down. Oh, I forgot this one actually comes with a like a promo card um, that I can add to my collection. I've, I've just never opened up the, the VMAX EV thing. So yeah, I guess I'll just lay that to the side over here. We can keep that in our collection there. And I always like to look at the dots in every single ATB. They always look really cool to me. But here it is. This is the meat and bones of this this collection. This is 10 Shining Fates packs, and I've not opened Shining Fates in forever, my dude. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, we have a lot of cards to open today, like 32 packs, I think. So we're just going to jump into these. Um, we'll do the, the trick on most of them. Um, but if it starts getting like too long of a video, we're just going to jump right in and just do whatever we got to do to open these things up as quick as possible. I'll try to give code cards when possible in case you guys do want to do the code cards. Um, but yes, I'm excited to open up some Shining Fates. This is my first time doing doing anything, Shining Fates. I don't think I've opened them in over a year, honestly. Maybe we'll get something good, maybe we won't. Is the first pack gonna have anything worth it? Let's see what we've got here. We got a regular Hollow Decidueye. Okay, we've still got a lot more packs to open up. 
um, I'm sure we're gonna get something decent. Um, just in the comment section really quick down below, which one do you guys think will be better, the American cards or the British cards? I got a feeling that the American cards are gonna come through. Every time I've ever bought American cards, it just feels like I'm able to pull like way more good stuff, it seems like. I don't know what it is about them, um, but it is what it is, and I think I see a little bit of sliver there. Something's behind this Morpeko. And our final card is going to be, oh, Tremorant VMAX. I actually had the shiny version of this from the, the tin that they released. Um, so it's cool to have the regular version too. I guess I'll just keep all the cards we get, maybe like right there, just the regular, like the, the VMAXs and the full arts and the cool stuff. We'll try to keep them on the mat so you guys can keep them and keep track of all the cool pulls that we have. But yes, it was such a great uh, thing to be able to go back to America after living in England for so long. Um, and then being able to buy uh, more Pokemon cards and just I know this was a cool idea and I, I hope it pays off. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Let's get some good stuff today. All right. We got ourselves a final card is a Yon Mega. Yep. Not coming off too strong right now, are we? All right. What else do we got here? Buizel. We've got a few other things. I'm going to stop doing the, the card trick. Oh, oh, I didn't even, was not even ready for that. We just got the full art Skyla card. Look at that bad boy. That's a, that is a nice one. Full arts are top tier, my dudes. They are top tier. I also just realized that the, the letters and stuff are backwards. So let me fix that really quick. There we go. Now we can actually read those cards. Sorry about that, guys. But that is another hit and probably my favorite one so far. Potentially gonna be my best one um, the entire day, honestly. If it isn't, then that's gonna be insane. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stop doing the card trick for now. And we're just gonna open these. Oh, I already see, I already see it. Oh, no way, no way, bro. No, I gotta be careful. Where are my sleeves at, boys? We just pulled chi the, the Shining Charizard V Max. Are you dead? Are you serious? I've never, I don't, this is probably the, the coolest card I've ever pulled in my entire life. I gotta find my sleeves. All right, very carefully, very carefully. We gotta get this dude in, in something. I've, I've always wanted a card of this caliber, and there you go. We just pulled a Charizard V Max from Shining Fates, my dudes. I don't know how much that card's going for right now, but it will be on the screen. You guys will see that one. I guess I'll go ahead and also put everything else in a uh, sleeve, sleeve too, might as well, right? All right, America, it's gonna be hard to top this one. I think that England might've already won and we just started the video. All right, we got five more packs to go from Shining Fates. Um, we, we can't get any better than we've already gotten. The only thing would be better is if we pulled literally a second Charizard, which is impossible. Uh, but I've been getting good luck just going through the cards here and the luck did not continue Just got a regular hollow Rillaboom. Uh, let's continue open up the packs here Just to go ahead and get this over with and get to the American packs I am still like kind of shaking and hyped up from that Charizard. That was insane. All right, here we go There's a code card. No trick. No trick today. Oh, we actually got a shiny shiny Sinus T there The camera will focus on that thing um, and then a regular rare Volcanian. I do like the, the shiny hollows that come in this set. Uh, they are like a good little surprise that you can get if you're into collecting those. I will keep that. Um, I don't put those in my binder. I keep those separate somewhere else, but yeah, they are pretty cool. All right, three more packs. Let's do it. And what do we get in this one? We're gonna get, oh, did I, already, did I skip it? Oh, it was the coughing hollow. You can't really tell that's a reverse hollow, so I didn't know that the professor's research was a rare. Um, but yeah, that pack was a dud and a half. I don't even know what else I would want from this set. That Charizard is like the main thing that everybody wanted from- Oh, we got a Grimmsnarl V! Alright, so I actually have the shiny Grimmsnarl V Max. So now I have the V and the V Max, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're actually pulling insane from this ETB, dude. That is crazy. I don't- I gotta get that Charizard graded or something. That looks like really great condition. All right, last pack of Shining Fates. Um, and then we've got a few Pokemon Go sets to, or Go Pokemon Go uh, packs to open up. And then we'll be done with all of the British cards. For the final set, you know what? For the final uh, Shining Fates pack, we will do the four card trick here. Uh, let's see if we're gonna get anything in this Mon. Let's get it, my dudes, let's get it. We got the Rusted Sword, we've got Gossiflor, we got Rowlet, we got Qfant. Uh, Spinarak, Horse C. Oh, we got real movies at the last. Oh, we got a, a double pull. Are you serious? Oh, because this is part of the Shining Fates thing. We got a double pull. That is a great finale for the Shining Fates. Uh, we literally pulled so much from that ETB. Uh, let me get some sleeves real quick. All right, let's do a recap of what we've got. Um, actually, you know what? We'll do a recap after we've completed all of the UK cards. All right, we've got these two packs, uh, these two boxes open up. Bulbasaur is my starter of choice. Um, you guys that are Squirtle lovers, sucks to suck. Didn't even get a Squirtle box because Squirtle blows. Um, 
But let's go ahead and open up the Charmander box here, and we will get these three Pokemon Go packs out, and we'll start opening Pokemon Go packs from the UK. All right, there is a cool little promo card in here as well as a pin, and you guys can have this code card if you want to. Um, but yeah, I think I like to keep these promo cards with this, so I will be keeping this one. And also, like, the, the pin is really cool if it'll focus. Can you focus on the pin for me, please? There we go, yeah. Pin is pretty neat. And just because I like to see packs stacked up, we're gonna open the Bubble Sword pack, too, and just have all those packs laying there on the ground. And it's the same as before, we do get a cool promo card as well as a code card for you guys to use. And I'm a really big fan of this pin. This is, Bulbasaur is the go-to, my dudes. Bulbasaur is the go-to. Six packs, let's shuffle them up, and let's just open these things up, and hopefully, I can get that Radiant Venusaur I've been searching for, um, and then I'll have every single Radiant from the Go set. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the, the the card trick for this one either. There's no trainer galleries in this set, which is just kind of sad. That, there's actually no trainer galleries in any of the sets that I bought for this. Did I show that code card off? There you go, if I, if I didn't show that off. But let's just let's just hope for the best here. Um, if I can get the Mewtwo, that would, that would literally go insane. Getting the Mewtwo and the Charizard, that would be dummy. That would be dummy, and... Uh, just a regular hollow Charizard from the ghost set. Um, it is what it is. Why did I even do it like that? Should have just opened them up. But let's continue doing what we do. All right, Venusaur, I know you're in here. Come on out and show us, show yourself so we can get what we need to get. Come on, Venusaur, where are you at? Oh, Melmetal V. All right, we pulled Melmetal V. That is like my 10th Melmetal V that I pulled from the Pokemon Go set. Uh, that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We take chances, we pull cards. Either they're great or they're not. You're never gonna know. There's a code card. What can we get, boys? What can we get? Y'all don't be cheating now. Oh, boys, we just got Mel Metal back to back, but this is the full art version. Okay, you know what, I don't mind it. If, it's, if I don't mind getting cards that I don't really care much, as long as they're new to my collection, I'll take anything. But that is a full art. Mel Metal V. I think I now have, I don't know if there's a rainbow rare, but if there isn't, then I have every Mel Metal from Pokemon Go set then, and multiples of a few of them. All right, but we are down to our last three uh, from the Pokemon Go set here. I wonder if those Mel Metals, like we shuffled the cards up, but I wonder if those were from the same box. That would be hilarious if someone bought that box and they just got the uh, three Mel Metals. All right, come on, come on. Oh yeah, I already seen the hollow, but I was hoping that maybe we could get a Radiant there. The Radiants are the only really important thing that I'm actually looking for. Like I said, I wouldn't mind getting the Mewtwo in Times Square, but I'd rather have the Radiant Venusaur, if I was being honest. All right, code card there. It'll focus. Um, these are the last two. We might as well do the four card trick for the last two packs in the Pokemon Go set here. I got Charmeleon, Pupitar, Chansey, Spinarak. I didn't even pay attention to see if I even got any dittos. And did I mess that up? No, I did not. All right, come on. The reverse, nope, nope. That's the reverse. And we got a Gyarados regular rare there. And we are on to our last pack. This has got to be the one that's that has the, the Venusaur, correct? I, I need that Venusaur. All right, code card. Hopefully that one's lucky for you guys. Uh, we're not getting what well, we were getting extremely lucky. I can't say anything after getting that Charizard. Um, I didn't expect to pull that at all. I didn't even think about that. The fact that we pulled that is insane. We just got a grass energy. That's That symbolizes that we could be getting a Venusaur in today's pool. Come on, Magikarp, Apom, Mel Metal. Come on, this could be it. The next card I think is the, the reverse. Oh, oh, I've seen the grass. And I about freaked out, boys, but that is just a Venusaur, a Bulbasaur, and- Oh! Oh! Conkeldur V Full Art! Okay! Okay! I think I have all the Conkeldur Vs now as well. I have the- have the, uh, the special art edition, what's it called? The, the- I don't know, alternate art? Yeah, I have that as well. Um, but that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and wrap up. That's gonna wrap up all of our UK cards. Uh, let's do a recap and I'll show you guys what I got. Alright, just showing off what we've got so far. We got the Cramorant V, Cramorant V Max, we got the Grim Snarl V, Rillaboom V, Mel Metal V, Conkeldur V Full Art, Mel Metal V Full Art. We got the Skyla Full Art, which kind of set off the whole thing. Um, and then we got the Charizard V Max. That is just an insane card. Um, I've never pulled anything like this, and, and I need to get that thing graded probably. But yes, that is going to be it for all of the UK cards. Let's go ahead and move over to the American cards. All right, guys, up next, we have the two ETBs from the United States. We have Fusion Strike, and we have Darkness Ablaze. There's a clearance sticker on here for $44.98 or whatever, but I don't know why it says that or why it even has a sticker for it. That's literally the price that was on it on the shelf, so I don't, 
Don't even know why it has that for. But I think for this one, I'm gonna open up both boxes and then just have all the cards and then alternate between each set. I think that would be cooler. So let's just open these bad boys up and then uh, we'll put the cards out and just get started on opening these things. None of these ETBs have anything special in them. I mean, they do have like the cool like Muse stuff and this one has the cool Eternatus stuff. Um, but what we're looking for mainly in these are just the packs. Each one of these has eight packs, so. Uh, it's gonna be a lot for us to open up. The dice is really cool in the Mew one though. I like that a lot. The purple and the blue. That looks insane. And here is the Darkness of Blaze packs. Oh, uh, I don't know what the dice look like in this one. Okay, that's pretty cool too. It's like a pinkish and or maybe reddish and blue. I don't really know. Pink, red, blue. I don't know what color that is. But yeah, pretty standard. Um, ETBs are all the same. You guys have seen them before. If they had any like special cards in them, I would have shown you guys. But yeah, it's just sleeves, dice damage counters but this is what we were after here we were after the fusion strike packs and the darkness ablaze packs i'm so excited um so i think we're gonna alternate starting with uh darkness ablaze so we'll open one pack at a time and just see how it goes darkness ablaze i don't even know what i would pull, what i want to pull from this set um so we will just open these up try to get them quick i'm not really interested in doing the card trick too much on these um, I've not really opened too much Darkness of Blaze, but it looks like we're going to start off with a regular rare Ampharos there. And like I said, we're going to alternate. So up next, we're going to open up a Fusion Strike Pack. And hopefully, um, I got a feeling that we're going to get more from the Fusion Strike, uh, but only time will tell. Uh, oh, oh, Chandelure VMAX. Uh, pretty cool. You can tell I'm not too excited because I've already got this one in my collection. It is a Rainbow Rare, though. That is... That is pretty rare and pretty cool. It's our first pull from the American section. So let's go ahead and split this thing really quick. And yeah, not a bad first pull for America. Just hope that it doesn't stop here. Let's let's keep pulling, my dudes. It also matches our uh, our ghost themed uh, thing. So um, a lot of this video was filmed during October. It is currently like midway through November as I'm recording this part. So um, yeah, just bear with me, guys. All right, the next darkness ablaze. I don't think I've really got too many pulls from this. Like I said, I haven't opened too much. Um, and I'm not even sure like what to expect from these. So whatever we get is going to be cool. Oh, and it turns out to Max. Another card that I already have. I think I have technically three of these because I think I have a promo one as well. So that's not very fun. It's never fun to get duplicates. I probably shouldn't complain. I should never complain. Some people don't get hits at all. All right, up next, let's open another Fusion Strike. Um, yeah, like I'm saying, some people just don't get hits at all. Um, I have a friend named Davies. If he's out there watching, um, dude, he always gets white code cards. So... I feel bad for that man. I feel bad for him. But yeah, that's another white code card there. I guess I should, at this point, we should just be looking at the code cards, honestly. Hey, there we go. Black code card. Let's do this. I think I'll only do the tricks on the the black code cards. If we can get anything, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I don't want to do the trick that much because it just takes up so much time on the video. And can we get anything? Come on, Soul Rock and just regular Mel Metal. It's just going to be too hard for us to be able to, to beat that. Uh, the whole uh, Charizard, dude. We're not going to be able to beat that with the with the American cards here. Especially with these, these sets here. We're not getting any trainer galleries. So I think I might have set us up for failure, my dudes. I think I might have set us up for failure. All right, there we go. Black code card. That's what we want right there. So there is the code. And let's do the four card trick. Come on. We need the luck here. We need the luck. This was Darkness Ablaze. Come on, give me something good from Darkness Ablaze. Give me something good. And our last card. Bro, just a regular Serena, not even a hollow. I'm not giving up hope yet. I have I have a good feeling that we're gonna get something from one of these packs here. And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Y'all just wait for it, okay? Y'all just wait for it. Alright, dub wool, spongy gloves, frost moth. We got caterpie. That's pretty cool. Or Peko, Eevee. Shelder, Voltorb, Butterfree, and Hollow for Ralligator. Not what we wanted, but still pretty cool. Alright, we're halfway through each of the packs here. We got four Fusion Strike and four Darkness Ablaze. Still not, it's not looking good, my dudes. It is not looking too good. I don't even think we're gonna get half the pulls that we got from the other set. I keep forgetting to show this code card, but there it is. Come on, let's go Electric. Fletchling, give us the luck. Give us the luck we need to get the cards we want. No, dude, we're just getting regular rares. Does the card trick work in, are the, are the code cards different in Darkness of Blaze? I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, I don't I don't know. Another white one. Sucks, suck, sucks to suck, my dudes. We got absolutely trash, but it's not over yet. It's not over until the Charizard sings. Okay, that was white with the black border. I don't know 
how these work. So I'm gonna do four from the back on this one. Maybe this is the code card that like has the pulls in Darkness Ablaze. I honestly don't know. What are we gonna get? Okay, Bird Keeper. Oh, I see some stuff there. That is gonna be a Rock Barrier Full Art. Oh, that actually looks insane. Look at the, the rainbow on that one. And the Sean, that is that is a beautiful looking card, my dudes. That is a beautiful looking card there. I'm actually happy with that one. Um, new one for the new one for the collection. And it's like a new pool from Darkness of Blades. Like I don't, like I said, I don't have too many of those. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. Probably again before the video's over though. Yeah, you guys wouldn't believe. Right here, there's like a huge pack, like a pile of just Pokemon cards we've been opening from today's video. All right, we've got after this we'll have two of each pack. Um, we're speeding through this, and some of these are just really hard to open up. Good here with the with the black code card on the Fusion Strike. Come on, Fusion Strike has some cool Pokemon in it. I used to run a pretty cool Fusion Strike Pokemon deck. You guys play the TCG, like actually. Um, I ran a really cool Fusion Strike deck with Mew. Back to back pulls. We got the Dreadnaw. Behind the Dreadnaw is gonna be. Oh, it's a V. It's a V. It's gonna be a. Oh, it's Mew. Literally Mew V. Uh, speak of the devil, my dudes. That is literally the card. Uh, from the deck that I was talking about. This one feels weird. It looks weird too. Like the, the gloss on it is so weird looking. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that does not look like the rest of my Pokemon cards. All right. And then there were two. Uh, well, technically four, but two of each set. Um, let's just finish up what we got here. We're just, I think we're going to finish out with a bang, my dudes. I think we're going to finish out with a bang. Yeah. So it looks like the green code cards are the bad ones in, in this one. I didn't even show the code there. Um, but I think the green ones are the bad ones in uh, Darkness of Blaze, which is weird. So yeah, we'll just put over and just, yeah. The green ones are terrible in Darkness of Blaze. That sucks. That's good to know though. I, I guess I'm, whenever I, if I ever open Darkness of Blaze again, which I probably will not go out of my way to buy Darkness of Blaze anything, um, well, we'll know how to do the trick, if it's worth it or not. Could be something nice. Only time will tell. Come on, give us, give us the pulls we need. Team America, don't let me down. Don't let me down, Dewpider. And the back card is, oh, another V. All right, back-to-back -back Vs for Fusion Strike. Uh, let's see what we're gonna get from this. We're gonna get ourselves a, oh, a Greninja V. I don't think I had this one yet. Um, dude, this card looks weird too. There's something about these cards in this ETV. Um, like, like, can you guys see the gloss? Like, look at the gloss here. If I hold it at that angle, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. If you guys in the comment section know what's up, let me know. All right, last Darkness Ablaze pack here. Um, I guess we could pull a Charizard from this and then that would equal the Charizard from the other one. Um, but I, yeah, it's a green code card, so it doesn't even matter. It does not even matter. All right, let's just, yeah. D didn't even matter, my dudes. Darkness of Blaze was a bust. I don't think I've ever pulled anything good from that. I mean, I guess the right period is pretty cool. Um, but let's just go ahead and open up the last pack of today's video. Uh, don't let us down. It let us down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's the code card for that right there. And yeah, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But let's just do a recap of every single card that we have gotten today uh, from UK and the United States. All right, so here are the cards that we've gotten today from the United States packs. Uh, we got Greninja V, Mew V, Rhyperior V, uh, Eternatus V Max, and Chandelure V. Chandelure V Rainbow Rare, probably being the rarest thing uh, with the Rhyperior full art in the back. Uh, but yeah, so. I'll put these down here so we can put these in order and then we'll put the British cards on top of those and you guys can vote which one thinks the best. And just a recap of what we got from the English packs, like this was a promo so it doesn't really count uh, as a pool, but the Charizard dude, the Charizard is literally insane with the Skyla, with the Full Art Melmetal V, the Full Art Conkeldor, the Melmetal V, the Rillaboom Shiny Rillaboom V, Shiny Grimmsnarl V. Cramorant V Max and regular Cramorant V. We actually like in terms of pulls today, like we just pulled it out of our. I don't even know what to say, like what terminology to use. It was just a great, uh, great thing today. But yeah, this is going to be everything that we pulled from England and everything that we pulled from the states down here on the bottom. Um, you guys really can't see all of it that great. But yeah, I think the Charizard kind of seals the deal. Looks like England took this one by a landslide, honestly. Um, I'm really happy with today's pulls. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If you guys do want to see more card content like this, just leave a comment and let me know what I should do next. I think cool ideas like this where I compare cards from different countries is, is kind of a unique idea. And I don't want to make card videos like everyone else. I kind of want to do it in a unique kind of way. So if you have any ideas, 
Just leave a comment down below. And as always, God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.